Recently, I started playing Nino Kuni 2. Now, I've only gotten about an hour through the game, so we definitely will be bringing you more updates as we get through, but I've only, you know, started so far. Uh, basically, this game has a lot of really interesting aspects of it, and in, on top of that, really hits a lot of different genres. It really goes heavily into the RPG aspect while also maintaining, like, really heavy combat aspects that I would uh, make more akin to even fighting games at some points, particularly when they kind of throw you into an arena when you're out exploring the wilderness and you run into either an animal or some sort of enemy, and then it kind of throws you in Pokemon style to engage with those enemies. Uh, basically, let me uh, move backwards a little bit though. We start this game off as a young prince who is kind of in danger and needs to be saved by this other individual. You go ahead and you lead them out of the castle, and then you are meant to go on and try to re save the kingdom and rebuild it. You use the little prince in order to kind of travel alongside your companion and fight off different enemies. When you get past the, the castle part, you go into kind of the traversing of the map, which is this really interesting, almost Pokemon style thing like I mentioned earlier, where it looks kind of rudimentary the entire map as you walk across it. However, it allows you to find various different locations and you can go into those locations or you can attack enemies, uh, you you know that uh, in the certain spots that they are at and then it puts you into this kind of other setting which is more of this uh, traditional 3d uh, you know open world model type thing uh, where you can go ahead and explore the various different buildings or you can uh, take on the different enemies as discussed before there are also some really fantastic bosses with some really cool designs and the art style is definitely very unique and fun I think that one of the things that it does uh, a lot is it throws quite a few enemies at you at once can be which can be uh, quite frustrating sometimes especially because sometimes it feels like a level of difficulty that isn't quite earned by the game uh, so I think that would probably be one of my primary complaints but besides that everything else is quite fun you can you know unlock special uh, you know abilities to utilize with your attacks chain together attacks uh, you know jump up and hit enemies within the air and all sorts of other stuff I'd say it's definitely quite fun and considering it is uh, available over on Xbox Game Pass you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, I would rate this game so far a 3 out of 4. What do you guys think? Uh, did you like this game? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. We have a Discord you can join if you want to chat with us about movies and video games. And we have all of our other channels in the descriptions too. Alright guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Just to open up a newer car